Welcome everybody. This is the 2017 Have a Strong with the League Winter Meetings, and I'm here to showcase our well, showcase our our new recruits and what we've got in store for you. And I'm Christopher Mastalone from the New York Bombers, your host, and let's get into it. So, uh, we have some breaking news that Luca Alvarez may be may be missed for the rest of next season with a hand injury. So I was there early in the day talking with Luke about his injury. So let's roll that clip. How's the injury going, Luke? Well, I don't, I don't really know what to say. I already talked about retiring, about all that. I had a hell of a run, things like that. But this injury is probably going to set me back probably two seasons. So, yeah, I'm pretty upset about that. Oh, I can't, I, when I was, got too caught up with my training, and things like that, so yeah. Okay, Luke's gotta go run to a free agency pick, so yep, bye. Some other news that is extremely important to the HWL. Now, you have seen our customized bats, but we are we have some new regulations this year. We are allowing new bats, and this year, like this one, let's get this one out of here. Uh, this one, the junk ball bat, we are allowing this year. This will be a big one, it's good for momming, so yeah. So the types of bats that we will be using this year are Powerhouse, Polybat, the Weezyville Slugger, um, the Junk Ball Bats that we just explained earlier, Blitz Balls. Wait, and this just in that our Haverstraw Wiffle League World Series will be taking place at the Haverstraw Little League Parkland. So, as you can see, it has the perfect conditions and perfect length for a wiffle ball field. This will be a good field for our World Series. So, for the first of our interviews, we're gonna be interviewing one of our newest rookies, and his name is Matthew Mastalone. He's a pitcher for the Louisville Sluggers, and let's welcome him in. Hello, Matt. So, how does it feel? How do you feel about the upcoming 2018 Wiffle Ball season? Good. Okay, sounds good. Well, our World Series will be in the Haverstraw Little League Parklands. We will be playing in the minor field or T-ball field. We'll have to see. But, so, yeah. Nice meeting you, Matt. The next person that we will be interviewing is another another person from the Louisville Sluggers. His, Matthew's teammate, Marco Mastalone, his, bro, his twin brother. He's a second baseman. And let's welcome him in. Hello, Marco. How are you doing? How do you feel about the upcoming 2018 season? You know, I just feel like I'm going to make a big push for our team. I'm just coming in strong. That just like your win. brother. We're going to win. Okay, let's see. We'll have to see how um, you guys do next season. Hopefully your brother can pitch well. you got to play field well. That You guys got to extremely hit. Um, so, are you hyped up about where we are playing the World Series? Um... Uh, Kind, kind of, because like I'm good there. I played there a couple times in my minors. Um, I hit some home runs. Okay. So. <laughs> it's going so good. Uh. <laughs> so yeah, I know you got a little bit of laugh in you. So yeah. So I think I got one more question for you. Um, how do you um? What kind of bat would you like to use with our new bat regulations? We have poly bat this year. We got junk ball. We got blitz ball. Um, what bat are you using, want to use? The well, most? um, I Eastern. like I like uh junk ball. I just feel like it's good because people just throw some junky pitches. Okay, sounds good. So nice meeting you, Marco. See. You. So now we have our man-to-man -man coverage for the week, and our guest is Luke Alvarez. So let's welcome Luke in. Hello, Chris. Hello, Luke. How do you feel about the upcoming 2018 season? So, well, um, I feel like it's going to be a good season this year, Chris. And I just hope this doesn't set me back like uh, a couple years ago. And um, I'm hoping to hit more home runs because that's my main like role that I would like to play. Um, World Series, I don't know because we're still in the postseason. So, yeah, next question. 
How many home runs are you looking to hit this year? Well, Chris, I'm like actually hoping to hit a lot. Uh, I always want to set the um, bar higher than I did last time. So yeah, I'm just hoping to co make contact at least. Uh, yeah, I'm not really focused on home runs this year. I'm. I feel like I've gone down that road. Hits are my main priority, as you can see. I got hurt <laughs> in doing hits. So uh, yeah. Next question. As a veteran in this league, do you plan staying with the South Smashers, or do you plan going to a different team? That's a pretty difficult question. Uh, as much as I love the South Smashers, it, like I had a really great year. I, I honestly want to stay with them, but if it comes to the point, which it already hasn't, if like, maybe if they did pick me for five thousand dollars, but when it comes to the point. To leave, I would like to go to an organization that treats me as well as like well my teammates better. You know, it's like going up to the next grade and forgetting the teacher and stuff like that. So yeah, and like yeah, that's pretty much it. My next question, I have uh. You know what? You want me to interview you? Uh yeah, I guess. All right, let's go. So, Chris, uh, what colors are you looking to put on this year? I'm looking to put on mostly blue. I feel like blue will be a good color for my team. Uh, so you're saying that you're going to stay with the New York Bombers? Yeah, definitely. I feel like I should spend most of my career here. It's only my second season with them, only my second year playing. I won Rookie of the Year with them. So, uh yeah, maybe I can stay for another three seasons, so I guess I'm staying with the Bombers. So, you think you're going to beat Luke Alvarez this year in home runs or anything else? Well, with his hand injury, I think he's going to do a little bit worse than me. I have 130 home runs this season, <laughs> but, uh, yeah, we'll have to see. It's kind of hard answering that question right in front of you. I hate you. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure you go subscribe. Uh, turn on the post notifications and make sure you go like this video so you can be so you can be prepared for our next winter meetings and uh, future wiffle ball games. Make sure uh, make sure uh, you guys go check out our other channels: Luke Alvarez, Christopher Mastalone, and this is Have a Show with Luke signing out. Have a Merry Christmas! Thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.